This is an ABC Action News tracking the traffic's update. Brought to you by The Wise Company. You can't prevent certain events in life, but you can prepare for them. Hello everyone, I'm ABC Action News Meteorologist Greg D. A very busy day in the tropics today. Today officially uh, the busiest day of the Atlantic hurricane season. When you look at climatology, we're watching an area of disturbed weather in the Western Caribbean that could head into the Gulf and develop into something that could impact Texas or Mexico with some rain. We'll be watching the North Central Atlantic for some development later on in the week and then Florence, Isaac and Helene. All three of these are hurricanes and these are their forecast track. Let's take them one by one. Take you down toward Helene first. A large hurricane really still trying to organize. There's a large open eye. I'm not a very symmetrical storm and this one forecast to track towards the north and then turn away from any land masses well off the coast of Africa and Europe should not be an impact to the United States. Isaac farther south also not looking like the most organized hurricane too. It's encountering some shear. It's a minimal storm right now. Minimal category one hurricane. It's expected to cross the islands, maybe strengthen to a cat two briefly. Then the models actually weaken this one completely as it heads south of Hispaniola as it should encounter some very strong southwesterly upper level shear. So a turn towards the Gulf of Mexico or uh, maybe an impact with Central America may not even be an issue with Isaac. Florence, on the other hand, has gone intense strengthening overnight. And that should continue through the day. Well developed eye right now. The storm has become symmetrical again, and we are going to work our way up to major hurricane status by later on tonight. Of course, all eyes on the East Coast as Florence seems to be headed on a collision course with the Carolinas later on in the week. Here's the official Hurricane Center forecast. This was last updated Monday morning at 5 o'clock. Brings the storm as a Category 4 hurricane towards the North Carolina coast. That could still change, however. Notice that the cone here, the typical cone of error this far out, extends south of Charleston, South Carolina, all the way up through Norfolk, Virginia, Elizabeth City, Kill Devil Hills, Nags Head, Hatteras, Moorhead City, over towards Wilmington, all could see significant impacts. And of course, those impacts are felt far away from the actual center of circulation. So any movement here could really impact the mid-Atlantic states quite a bit. The models have really zeroed in on the eastern seaboard, the Carolina coast, and you notice how they just sort of turn in all directions after it makes landfall. The storm could stop or slow down over North Carolina or Virginia. Some models here are predicting as much as 20 to 40 inches of rain following impact, which would be much more devastating to this area than the actual coastal impacts from landfall. So places like Richmond, Raleigh, Durham and Charlotte need to watch this storm very carefully for potential big flooding. The landfall would be late Thursday night into Friday. The flooding could continue there into the weekend. We've got up to the minute information on the hurricane tracking section of ABCActionNews.com.